Twin Cessna 290 on Romeo. Caution wake turbulence for the departed jet on south parallel runway. Runway 28 right, cleared for takeoff, left turn approved. Cleared for takeoff 28 right for Twin Cessna 01 Romeo. Exit jet 340, heading 280, contact Minneapolis departure. Good day. All right, finals clear, departures clear with jets in sight to caution wake turbulence. Set on a 2000 RPM. And tower for the back air care one request change for the episode. Air care one frequency. Six change screen. Check. Brace release full power. Take off power set. Airspeed's alive. There's red line 85. Positive rate. Gear up. Pitching for blue line. The light is out. Does that mean gears up or the light comes on? The uh, red light will come on. Okay. Red light's on, gears up, gears stowed. Going to 2,500. Probably get up through this hole and then cut over. Sounds good. There's a thousand feet to go. Alright, there's a thousand AGL, so 2400? Yep, do the uh, throttle first. Oh, okay. 500 feet to pattern or to. Uh, there you go. there. That works for now. Let's start our turn. All right, southbound turn is approved. There's 2,500. We could stay outside of the uh, the 3,000 foot ring if you want to just go up to 35. That works for me. That so the same power setting there? Yep. You All right. Have 24, 24. You can bump a little more throttle in. There you go. Perfect. Climbing 3,500. Yeah, this thing sure does climb, that's for sure. It does. <laughs> two hundred feet to go. At two hundred feet, we'll go to uh, twenty inches, twenty one hundred RPM. So bring the the manifold pressure back, so the throttle back to about 18. Okay. Maybe 18 and a half inches. And then bring your RPMs back. So what, 8 to 21? 21. 21. Watch the manifold pressure go back up as you're doing that. That should end up at about 20 inches, 2100 RPM. Okay. All right, fuel pumps off. Do them one at a time. I'll make sure the fuel flow's good. Fuel flow's good. Very nice. And then lean the mixtures out. So where? Um, initially bring them both back to about right there. Nice and slow, like you're doing. And then one at a time. To where? Um, just start bringing it back nice and slow. So right about there, let that, see what that does. You know, watch these creep up. We want to keep them underneath that star. Yep. And then we can't operate this airplane generally below um, eight and a half, eight, eight and a half gallons per hour. Okay. Uh, per side. 
So if it goes below that, it's probably going to die. All right. Um, so we can switch over to the other one. Let's bring the other one back. That one will come back further than the other one. About there? Yeah, it'll work. All right. All right, then you can do your, uh, we didn't do the cruise check, or the climb check. Well, because we were pretty much just right there. We didn't have any time. <laughs> uh, it's on the other side. All right, climb check, landing gears up, lights on, so climb speed is uh, good. Bumps are off, throttle set, propeller set. And we're getting a little high on our altitude. Come back down. Cruise check, power is set, mixture is lean, the trim is set, landing lights off. And fuel level monitor, engine instruments, dial monitor. Very nice. Pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. No, not at all. You good and back? Too hot, too cold. Good. I can get some more heat back there if you want. So if you want to do the autopilot, I'll show you how to do that real quick. Okay. I mean, you don't have to fly with it on autopilot, but just turn it on and off. Okay. Um, so we've already done the self-test. It's ready. It's armed. Yep. Basically, all we got to do is go on and push that, and now it's on the heading mode. That'll hold our altitude. Okay. If it needs us to trim uh, because it's reached the end of its stop, it's got a you know servo that moves this back and forth right. and side to side. If the back and forth... Um, it's near the end of its stop. It'll say trim up, trim up, trim up. So and you need to just trim, trim the nose up a little bit. Then it'll have more play. So if I wanted it to change altitude, do I have to disengage and then do it myself? Correct. Okay. Um, and you can do that with that button right there. And then just go down and then hit that button so again. I just trim down or... Whatever. You could trim down, but then you'll just have to retrim. It's a lot easier when we're this close. Just, just, just to push forward. Just to push forward just a little bit. Get down to the altitude that you want, and level back out, and then push it again. Okay. Um, the uh, if it's on heading mode, it will do a standard rate turn to your heading bug. If it has time to get to a standard rate turn. Okay. I mean, if it's only 10 degrees, it can't get to that. But, right. Uh, which is real nice for vectors and that kind of stuff. Definitely. Got a nice push, push going. Yeah, definitely. At least 20 knot tailwind. So it usually does a pretty good job of maintaining altitude. It'll stay within about 50 to 70 feet, yeah. um, even in some pretty decent turbulence. One thing you don't want to do is like be in a 500 foot per minute climb and then hit the right. altitude because it just it doesn't know what to deal do with it. it. Okay, what would it do? Is just not do anything, or no? It would, it would try. It would overcorrect and stuff. Yep. Okay. Same thing with the course. Oh, it wants me to trim up. See if there's any uh, people at Inner Lake, even though we're already past them. <laughs> Plug there, bow in there. Okay, 
Okay, so you want to call Rochester Approach once we get down there. That's their frequency. It's 198. So we could do direct, enter, enter, and then nav, right? In theory, yeah. Um, it really wants you to be within 10 degrees. Okay, so I should do this first. The, the easiest thing to do is, yeah, get yourself on course. Our desired track is going to be uh, basically 140. Yeah. Um, get us on that. And then do and direct track, track, enter, enter, and then nav. Otherwise, it'll right. It'll find it. Yeah, and it'll take us halfway to Rochester to get a, actually on our course. <laughs> All right. So we'll do a full stop taxi back then. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Assuming the taxiway is open, because I think it was closed last summer. Uh, yep, it's open. I say closed it in the last three days. Okay. But yesterday, or two days ago, we just did a full stop taxi back uh, on the runway. We just back taxi. Because there's no one there. So on final, we'll go full props and then um, just like over the threshold, power idle and let it float in? Or Not quite to idle. So you keep a little bit of power in over the threshold? Yep. Keep keep the power in and just slowly drag it back and reduce the power. As you do that, you can start pitching up to okay. weight off the airspeed. And that's what you're going to, you know, from 120 to 100, doesn't take much time. Um, if you pull all of it out, we're going to lose a bunch of lift. You'll have to pull back and it'll just be bad. ugly. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we'll probably be fine, but it'll it'll just be an ugly landing. Right. You can just, uh, you know, talk me through it as we go. Yeah. 350, let's start a descent. All right, same power setting and everything? Yeah. Just, just go forward. Just establish about 500 feet per minute rate of descent. We'll pick up a little airspeed initially, um, which will increase the airspeed, or vertical descent speed required. But... That's okay. This bothers me. Yeah. <laughs> it just kind of does that. Old airplane. Make sure we're descending at about 500 feet per minute. I'm wondering if <laughs> If you need to pull a little bit of power out, that's cool. Definitely remember that as we're descending, we're going to gain about an inch of manifold pressure per thousand feet. So well. I'll pull back a little bit each time. Yep. So you probably go back to like 19 inches right now, or even you know, 18 and a half as we descend. Just keep it around that. Okay. from New Alm. Seatbelts, everything. Good. Got it. Okay. Uh, you do your uh, uh, arrival area check. Airport information. We have the weather uh, and the airport information. Crosswind is going to be from the left, less than 16 knots. Landing lights. Do we do that all that now? or No, we, we can't right now because we're above 160. No, so right. we'll just level out and okay. then we'll do it a little closer because we are still uh, 12 miles away. Radios on CTAF, transmit, and mixture and rich as needed. All right. All right, we're about uh, 12. I'll go call it 10 miles. How much uh, rudder input is there on file usually? Not much.
That'll just be a little bit with the crosswind, but. Right. New long traffic, twin Cessna 2901 Romeo's type Cessna 310, about 10 miles uh, east at 3,500, descending at a pattern of two to a full stop, runway 33 at New Orleans. Runway 33. I'm surprised you don't do that. What? I'm surprised you don't say that. People sound dumb when they say that. Wow. Say tree, tree, and, and fife. Fife. I say fife sometimes. Fife. to go. Checks. Do you have the airport yet? No. Nope. See that little road that kind of goes diagonal? Just yeah. right, right there. Just kind of follow that probably right about now. We'll start set up set up on a nice long final. All right. That'll give us like, you know, three and a half, four mile final. New old traffic, twin Cessna, zero one Romeo's uh, six to the east, uh, right base, Romeo three, three, full stop, uh, new one. Yeah, keep that descent coming yeah. otherwise. Yeah. We'll never have time to slow down. Yeah, that's good true. down maybe another hit just to help it all right 160 lights all the way up and pumps to low flaps 15 all right there no traffic archer 15311 eight miles to the northwest uh, transitioning to the south at 3,000 feet turbo traffic and 140 gear down Speed check, gear down. New home traffic, zero one, Romeo's uh, three mile final, Romeo three three, full stop, new home. Now we're below 140, which is good. Let's go to 30 degrees of flaps as long as we're on final.
Here is verified down, one in the mirror. And we can go uh, mixtures forward. All the way? Yep. Drops coming forward. Pitch for 130. And then you'll have to add a little bit of power back in, otherwise we'll get too slow. There you go. And 120 on final. Gears down, gears in the mirror. Need a little bit more power. There we go. There we go. A little slow. Short final, 3-3, three, three, no up. I would sure bring him back. Yep, just nice and slow, bring him back. Left Taylor on, a little bit of right rudder. Right out, fly it all the way down to the ground. Keep coming. Your tube's still too high. There you go. Power out, bring out the power oh. out. Yeah, that would help, I guess. More brakes. I'll turn that Bravo here. Nice job. Did you go to Walmart? It's right there. Yeah? We could probably taxi there. <laughs> All right. New arms are on our meals, uh, clear the runway, new arms. We'll stop into the master landing. All right. All right, after landing checklist. Flaps up. Auxiliary fuel pumps to off. Mixture, lean for taxi. Uh, lights, landing lights are off. Speed of heat is off. Bad for landing complete. Back right. to runway. Sounds good. All right. Clear right, clear left. So the, the uh, power reduction and flare was a little bit early, Yeah. but since you don't really have a sight picture yet of how close you actually can get. No, I'm uh, twin Cessna here on our mouse crossing 422, no. Yeah, so, and then we're just a little faster than the numbers, you think, or? Nope. No, we're good. Okay. We're good. If you just get it a little bit lower, obviously you don't want to smash off the nose gear, but if you get a little bit lower at that pitch attitude and you just keep it right, going straight for the ground pretty much, okay. and then right at the end, start your pitch, pitching up and, and dragging the, well, dragging the power out and pitching up as you're doing it to slow your descent down to 